I can hardly talk about rosemary without smelling it, but also talking about rosemary for remembrance, which came up, of course, with Shakespeare. So we think about rosemary in a lot of different ways, and it is just a wonderful herb. It's definitely better fresh than it is dried. The nice thing is that it will last a really long time. You can even buy like little rosemary plants. Uh, and I do use dried rosemary. I have some right here. But I find I have a fresh rosemary in my garden year round. So if I'm home and I'm cooking, I can just get that fresh rosemary. So what you want to use is the leaves. And one of the reasons why the fresh rosemary is better than the dried is that these things are actually pretty easy to eat. They're a little leathery, but once they're dried, they're like kind of hard. They're like little pine needle kind of things. Um, and so you have, to, you have to grind them up a lot more. And when you powder them, the flavor doesn't last long, just like it doesn't with a lot of different leaves. So I would tend to, to stick these in a mortar and pestle and crush them up or put them in a stew or something where um, they're gonna be softened. This I'll use in all different ways. And we'll be using this a little bit in a moment. So how, um, what is so great about rosemary? Rosemary is a wonderful herb as, as a kind of an overall antioxidant. It's rich in phytochemicals, but it doesn't have a lot of the spiciness that when you get with something like ginger or even garlic. If you are somebody that has some uh, adverse to, to spicy or um, intense flavors, you might find rosemary is a little bit easier. And it is just deliciously gentle um, and I find that it's one of, so I think of it as a great cognitive herb. This is one of my very favorite cognitive spices, maybe my very favorite one overall. And there's a lot of research um, with older adults having, taking rosemary even in food-based form and find, finding that it helps with working memory um, and overall cognitive function. So there's some really good measures to this. And again, it's just super easy to use. You can add it fresh, you can add it dried. Um, you can even like put it in, in vinegar and then use rosemary vinegar on your food. Um, but cu culinary doses are actually really easy to use with rosemary. You don't need to get too complicated. And while I'm talking today about rosemary, I think it goes, anytime you use rosemary, you can add sage and thyme. Two herbs we're not going to be talking about. Uh, but you can add sage and thyme with your rosemary without exception, I think. They always go well together. Um, and so just go ahead and throw a lot of these in there. Really good with more Mediterranean foods and so on. Excellent in like breakfast eggs or um, in beans and legumes. Uh, it's great with meats. So, you know, if you aren't using rosemary, see, you can go on like a one week rosemary challenge and see how many times you can add rosemary to your diet because it's fabulous. <laughs> 